It was as brazen as it was devastatingly effective. In a cell in Kandahar's Sapoza prison, the tunnel entrance through which nearly 500 Taliban prisoners vanished under the noses of their guards. The insurgents lining the tunnel with explosives as a parting shot to their captors. President Hamid Karzai has described the mass escape as a disaster. The provincial governor now facing tough questions. Around 475 prisoners escaped from the prison. Among them, only one is a criminal prisoner. All the others were political prisoners. The Taliban claim they in fact freed 541 prisoners, among them 100 commanders. The insurgents said it took five months to dig the 1,000-foot tunnel, which began in a house near the prison before going beneath the main road and several prison checkpoints. The jail's been targeted before. In 2008, it was stormed by Taliban fighters after a suicide bomber blew a hole in a wall. A thousand prisoners fled, including 400 insurgents. As the birthplace of the Taliban, Kandahar's long been a focus of NATO operations. Last year, coalition troops launched Operation Dragon Strike to retake the southern province. 34 US troops were killed in fierce fighting. Insurgents say it took four and a half hours to free their prisoners, fueling suspicions that Afghan guards connived in the escape. Our first reaction is that this is a blow. It is something that should not have happened. And now that it has happened, we're looking into uh, finding out as to what exactly happened and what's being done to compensate for the disaster that happened in the prison in Kandahar. The jailbreak will raise concerns once again about the Afghans' readiness to take over security. Officials said 13 prisoners were later recaptured, but many more are thought to have fled to the Pakistan border. As the summer fighting season draws near, NATO troops face the deadly prospect of hundreds of hardened insurgents returning to the front line. Simon Newton, Sky News.